So we get a lot of questions about how to find the saved images after you save them on this local maker tool. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. After you make your uh, logo and you add your graphics and stuff, you want to go ahead and first crop it. And that's right here at the very bottom right corner right there. And this crops it so you don't have this big image. It crops it so you have only this. Once you're done doing that, you want to go to the save, which is right here at the top right corner. Click on that. And depending on the browser, I'm using Firefox right now, it will pop up and it'll say you want to save it as this. But let's just say you're not using Firefox. Let's say you're using Chrome. Well, then it's going to pop up as something different. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on Chrome right now. So here I have the Chrome browser open, and here's another sample logo. So I'm going to crop this one again and I'm gonna save it on the top right and you don't see anything happen but if you look carefully it did save it down here at the bottom and if I open it up and I uh, click on it you'll see it gives me some options so let me let me pull it up just a little bit for you and click on this you'll see show in finder and I put some other saved ones on here but this is the one that it just got saved. I did some other ones as you can see, but this is the one that just got saved right here in my downloads area. So you have to look on your computer in your downloads area. Sometimes your browser automatically saves it and it doesn't even come up as that warning. Notice when I went to my uh, Firefox one and I clicked the save button, it popped up and it says, yeah, do you want to save it or open it? And I click save. And then up here in this arrow, that's what Firefox does. It, it says it saves it here. And I could click this little viewfinder and I could see all the stuff that got saved in my downloads area right here. I could see that and I could double click on it and see it. So I hope that helps. And also remember, you have to copy these credentials and put them on your website uh, using the this licensing thing if you uh, got your graphics from us if you want a, a logo made professionally for you so you can put it on big banners and billboards and they don't get stretched and blurred out then contact us by clicking this link and also you uh, could copyright those uh, the uh, ones you get from us professionally so just go here you can see all our work and if you'd like us to make a professional design for you we're here to help